what is going on guys today we're going to be learning program structures in java so this is the introduction to java this is i believe the third episode the official third episode and yeah we'll get into it so we're gonna hit learn so in this lesson we will break down the structure of java programs and understand how they work the whole code to create a valid java program that outputs a simple text is the phone so this is all you need to print out um a simple text okay so you need the class which we'll learn later demo um has the name of the class and then remember public static void main open um, parentheses string with capital s and then uh, the brackets uh, rgs which stands for arguments but you don't have to know that you just have to know rgs and then close brackets then you open it up with the curly braces and then system dot out dot print line you guys already know that if you've watched the previous videos so yeah so when you run this it's gonna run hi there all right yep so we are already familiar with the print line method and the statement used to create the print so let's learn the other parts so i kind of went over it but they will teach you better um, the first line defines a class called demo in Java every line of code that that can actually run needs to be inside a class you can call the class anything you want you'll learn more about classes in the more advanced modules for now just remember that any Java program needs to be inside a class the class opens and closes using curly brackets like this so basically the curly braces like I said um, any code that we want to include in the class needs to go inside the brackets the opening bracket can be written below the class name but it's generally common to write it on the same line to say space <laughs> you don't have to know that like whatever looks better to you do it all right so first we have the class keyword and then class um, name perfect okay and then our program includes one more thing it is going to be the public static void main um string rds so this um honestly i just recommend you memorize it or write it down a bunch of times to memorize it uh, because there's no easy way to actually know um the exact thing unless you know it from memory which i do so i have it ingrained in my head public static void main open parentheses string brackets rgs a rgs and then um close parentheses and then the brackets um so in java each application has an entry point or a starting point which is a method called main so that is a main method um you'll learn more of that later so we'll call public static and avoid keyword definition in later lessons for now um when learning about methods for now remember that the main method needs to be declared identically to the code above <clears throat> so the starting point of every java program is the main method like we just read java program so yeah so notice that the main method similar to the class opens and closes with curly brackets the main method contains the code that executes when we run our program in this case the print lines method will be executed when we run our program okay so public static void and then i'm sure you guys remember going to be main let's see oh three in a row 
and then that is the fully Java, uh, fully functioning Java program. Um, you can rewind the video if you if you're stuck on a certain part, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, fill these out. It's gonna be class public static void main system dot pause the video if you want if you know okay it's going to be out and boom boom let's go so the lesson takeaways for today are going to be you need to start your programming by creating a class the class needs to include a main method which is the starting point of the program the main method includes the statements that need to be executed when the program runs the class as well as the main method opens and closes using open and closing curly braces all right now now this is the code coach basically um we have to modify the program to get it the desired result. <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and start solving. So the problem is um, the given program outputs coding is boring, but that's not true. Let's change the message. Modify the code to output coding is fun to the screen. Okay, so basically they just want you to change boring one um, yeah run it boom done very easy and then lesson completed we get XP we get these cubes which are useful to generate hearts but if you if you guys pay attention um, to what they're saying then you will not need to load up on the hearts um, so yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this and until then see you guys in the next video.